wedding shower was a huge success and it was a lot of fun having friends and family here, but we've got a lot of work to do. So one of the requests that uh, her sister had for the wedding was she needed seating for the actual wedding ceremony. Well, we got the order like literally two days before the wedding, <laughs> but it, which is a good thing because my sister Lydia is here um, for the wedding and she's kind of my building buddy, so it's half as much work. It was kind of funny actually, I seen him roll in and they were planning on going for a four-wheeler ride that afternoon. And Anna and Lids are like, yeah, it only takes about three hours to build these benches. <laughs> You know, like common sense, right? Well, she we had, had seven. Kids. You had a 12 foot trailer to the back of your car with a bunk of lumber. And we had seven kids. And seven kids. And me and Rob were like, yeah, only a few hours, huh? You guys could have helped us. We did help. We helped load. So um, Lydia and I got right on building the benches. We knew we were stressed for time. So, um, the way that we built them, we just took stud link 2x4s and stud link 2x6s so we didn't have to cut them. And we screwed the 2x4 to the 2x6 and then we just cut end pieces and screwed those on And um, because we didn't want to add the legs because our trailer is really small. We left the legs off, pre-cut those and then, um, then we just started staining everything. You know, we were planning on it just being a real quick job, but it ended up being an all-day ordeal. And my mom was out helping stain well into the like into the dark. No, you guys kicked butt out, and you guys really did good. Like, so I came up, I was gone with Rob. We were out um, playing, and anyway, so came back, and these benches all got done, and I was like, wow. So we helped them load them up on a trailer, get them ready to send to Fairbanks for the wedding. The big requirements for the benches, they have to be sturdy, they have to look decent, and she's hoping to maybe be able to reuse them in some way or even rent them out for other weddings, so they have to be something that's somewhat durable. We didn't have the time, but I would have loved to have added like a cross brace on the legs and just a little bit more, but um, you know, that's something that she can do on her end. So there was mom out there staining benches till 11 o'clock at night and she'd be like staining them and she, her glasses are really thick and she doesn't see good in the dark and she's like one left and I'm like no mom 17 left <laughs> one down <laughs> and so it, it was it was quite a process and it was a long day and it was a lot of hard work but honestly it was great spending time with my sister and my mom. We put them on the trailer, hauled them up to the wedding site, and then at the wedding site actually screwed on the legs and placed them and did some touch-up stain in the right place. They were amazing. The benches really just totally transformed the whole wedding site. So I'm really glad we got to contribute in that way. My family's all in town for the wedding. There's eight out of my nine siblings here. It's been 25 years since that many of the siblings have been together. We're really only missing my baby brother. He was here two weeks ago, so feeling really blessed and just um, happy that so much of our family is here. So the wedding was truly a fairy tale for my sister and we're really glad that we were able to contribute in some way, um, but we are exhausted. It's been project after project after project for about two years now. Yeah, we've been going a lot, um, obviously building this house, but other projects that have been in the way, we've built tiny houses over the last two years. Um, we've built uh, just it's endless going. furniture project going like crazy. Um, now that the family's uh, here, you know, we're going to take some time and let Anna visit with her family and uh, enjoy a little bit of this hard work that we've been doing the last couple of years. Yeah, so we're moved in to our house, kind of. We still got, you know, the whole house to furnish, the whole basement to finish. And um, so we just want to take a little bit of time to spend with our family. Um, we're going to continue doing the Monday videos, but this week we're going to cut a little short and just take a little bit of family time and um, enjoy the last little bits of summer. Yeah, well, fall. I mean, I'm going to be gone here hunting here for a little while and I was planning on taking some time off to do that, so 
It'll be lots of fun. And then um, snow is about to come and one of our commitments is before uh, the building season comes to a final closure, we've got to get another tiny house done. It's a donation project for our city for the ice skating rink, so it'll just be, you know, basically a tiny house that people can go into and put their skates on and then access the rink directly and it'll be heated. So we've got to get that done here in the next couple of weeks too, but we're going to get a lot of help from our community, so we're excited about that. So, we're yeah. going to take a little bit of time in the next couple of days and be back at it on Monday. Yeah, stay tuned. I mean, we're going to be putting out Monday videos for a long time. we got another project in the work this winter. We're going to redo a, uh, a house and yeah. we got kids crying, so we better go. Thanks for joining us and we shall see you next Monday. See ya.